Nvidia are such an annoying company, but you can't deny they make cool stuff. Like for example the brand new update to RTX video, which now brings automatic HDR into the mix. Now if you aren't aware already, RTX video is a special Nvidia only feature that uses their own AI upscaling to make low resolution content, well, look better. And now they're kicking it up a notch by converting that same content from SDR to HDR10. So let's see exactly how well it works. Now to make this work you need several things. Obviously you need an RTX graphics card with the latest drivers installed and of course you also need an HDR capable monitor. So right here we have the Eurus FV43U. You can then go into the NVIDIA control panel and under adjust video image settings you'll be able to see the RTX video options. Both the existing super resolution upscaling option and the brand new HDR one. Okay so this is an LG demo video that isn't uploading HDR to YouTube, it's just SDR content, and I mean, the difference is already visible. Though, if you always want to do a sanity check to see if it's actually working, go back to the NVIDIA control panel and it should tell you if the given feature of RTX video is currently being utilized or not. And even when flicking it on or off, there is a very, very visible difference in the actual content. It is actually amazing how much detail it's actually able to deduce from things that are just either over or underexposed to the point where you can actually tell what it is supposed to be. Like it is actually pretty impressive. However, there are some quirks. The auto HDR ness of it only happens when the video is actually in focus. So if you go to another tab and then go back, you can kind of see it takes a while for it to go, oh, okay, we're doing HDR again, okay, got it, boom, and then it loads in. And it gets even worse if you like, I don't know, go down to see the comments or whatever, and you can see it kind of just like constantly flickers between HDR and SDR. So it can be very, very, annoying. However, it's a kind of issue that will probably get fixed pretty soon. Another thing to keep in mind is that it only works on Chrome and Edge right now. So if you're using some weird hipster browser or whatever, then you're kind of out of luck. Time for you to switch to something a bit more sensible. And while it does work with pretty much any content on those browsers, it doesn't work with any local content you have saved. Well, okay, that isn't entirely true. You can get it to work with some special version of VLC. There are also other instances where it doesn't work so great. Take this footage, for example, from the Polish Parliament. Like, it's it's only 720p so it's not the best and because of it look how blown out the Polish flag is or how weird those white mic covers look. However in high resolution content I mean it does look amazing. I decided to choose this video from MKBHD unboxing the Vision Pro just because of how much white there is. You know, it's a white set and a white product, lots of white boxes. But it does look fantastic. Obviously, you can't tell very well on the camera, but if you do have an RTX graphics card, try it out yourself and see exactly how well it looks, even in its very early stages. It will only get better with time. So while NVIDIA graphics cards may be expensive, they sure do bring the cool features, but you know what isn't expensive are Patreon, as even a single dollar a month gives you absolutely amazing perks, plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Elav Ronyak, Balash Welcome, not a pseudonym, Meg Sumner, Sheen Ulcroft, Lensby, and Level Up. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.